This note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find Mother. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Well, for God's sake, just ask them. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one, twenty odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies. But I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? I was wondering if you might have seen an object like this, here, at the manor. What are you playing at, Derishé? I'm afraid I can't help you, my son. Ask someone who knows the manor better than I do. One of the servants, for example. One of them is bound to help you. Thank you for your advice, your eminence. I didn't mean to spy on you, but you caught my attention. Your Eminence, I don't know what you said to Mr. Von Volna, but the poor fellow looks positively crestfallen. Not at all. Don't, don't you believe it, Louis. I was just telling Monsieur about Lord Mortimer's burning passion for holy relics. You must have noticed he's a bit of a collector. Well, for years he has been searching high and low to bring all the copies of the Holy Spear together. As I was coming here, I thought I'd bring him a few of them. That's all. Be quiet, for God's sake. Uh, please leave us, monsieur. His eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. I am sorry, sir, but the conference room is under preparation and is consequently inaccessible to guests. Could you perhaps help me? What can I do for you, sir? Where did this sword come from? From the garden, sir. That sword belongs to one of the statues in the garden. Thank you very much. Don't mention it, sir. The sword probably came from this garden, but what could it have been used for? Golden elixir. Great, honey. Well, Monsieur de Richet, what brings you here? To tell the truth, I was wondering the same thing about you. It's rare for guests to wander about in the garden. I wanted to be alone for five minutes. You look worried. Worried? No. Resolved would be a more exact term. Resolved to do what? What's the point in answering? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Be seeing you. Tell me, aren't you even curious? Curiosity killed a cat, Monsieur de Richet. 
I admit, I may have judged you wrongly. Watching you seek out Mortimer's little secrets might even be amusing if I didn't already know the consequences. See you later. What scares you so much? Don't mess with him, monsieur. If he offers his help, refuse it. Keep your freedom and get far away from here while you still can. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. If I recall the Iliad, Ariadne is none other than the daughter of Minos and Pasiphae. She was in love with Theseus and helped him in his quest to kill the Minotaur in return for a promise of marriage if he defeated the monster. She gave him a reel of thread so that he could find his way back through the labyrinth, which was famous for being unsolvable. But once the beast was slain, the gallant was quick to abandon her on an island. Turns out heroes are not what they once were. Let's see. A crack as long as my finger. Son of Daedalus and Nocrate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, they came unstuck and he fell to his death. <laughs> Pity. If I remember rightly, Icarus was the son of Daedalus. He found himself confined to the labyrinth with his father after his father betrayed Minos. And his father's plan to escape from the labyrinth wasn't any more successful. Man, that kid was jinxed. Hey, there's no crack here. Well, let's keep going. Asterion. It is rare to see him like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur. The famous son of Minos and Pasiphae. Asterion was the son of Pasiphae and Minos, or rather the result of a curse put on Minos. Minos was punished for betraying Poseidon. Of course, as strangely it often happens, it wasn't he who was punished, it was his wife. She had to mate with a bull, no less. From that union, Asterion was born, who everyone knows as the famous Minotaur, rejected by Minos, he was shut up in the labyrinth so he could never leave. And, as if that wasn't bad enough, he died by the hand of a hero desperate to restore his reputation. Technically, Asterion is the victim of the story because he's described as a child cast out from birth. Born from an extramarital union because of the errors of his father, he was treated as an outcast all his life. And he died as innocently as he was born. A tragic story as the Greeks knew how to do so well. This statue has a crack in it. The crack is thin and about as long as a finger. I should be able to thrust in my sword. Let's go.
Minos, son of Zeus and Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. The crack is in the region of the heart. It's a thin crack as long as a finger. A blade could easily enter. Theseus, son of Aegeus, he's the one who slayed the Minotaur. I seem to recall he took the decision to confront the Minotaur. He killed the beast, but if it weren't for Ariadne's help, he would have been trapped in that labyrinth forever. In short, yet another hero who wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm probably being a bit harsh. I mean, we do owe him the foundations of Athens. In other words, the Republic. Render therefore unto Caesar what is Caesar's. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. Pasiphae, daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. I seem to recall that her fate was not something you'd want. She was punished for the sins of her husband. She had to mate with the sacred bull of Poseidon. Nine months later, she gave birth to Asterion, better known as the Minotaur. <laughs> it's crazy to see to what extent women have always been mistreated. When they're not harpies, gorgons, and other witches, they become victims. She has no cracks. All right, well, let's continue anyways. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. Looks like this slab moves. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a passageway underneath it. It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. What is that? It's like a sort of opening mechanism. Mortimer, I bet it's booby-trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Long Mortimer, I bet it's booby-trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Again? <laughs> you can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You 
You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to- Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! What was that? That's the third time in three days. <gasps> Let's see if you're you're in there, mother. Amber crystals. Bandages? Hmm, someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. Hmm, there are patches where the blood isn't totally clotted. That's a good sign, right? She changed them recently, which proves she's still looking after herself and still believes in her chances. Well, I'd love to tell her to keep hanging in there. Don't move! Wait, I'm not armed. Who are you? Good God, Mother, what have you- Tell me who you are! <laughs> 